it's found all over. And that's great. We love that here at Name Explain. We do. We do. Yeah? Yeah, we do. Hello, name nerds. My name is Patrick, and welcome to Fun With First Names, where each week we look into the meaning, origin, and some extra fun facts behind one specific first name. And this week, we are looking at the first name of Sanjay. But before we begin, I want to say a huge thank you to one Elliot Hennessy for becoming a patron in the most recent week. Thank you very much, Elliot. Patron is the single best way to help support Name Explain. You can donate $1, $2 a month over there, and that helps immeasurably. You get ad-free videos, exclusive content, a chance to say what names get explained here on the channel, and your name at the end of all of these videos. So that's the best way to do it, patreon.com forward slash name explain. There'll be a link down below. But if you don't want to commit to a monthly donation, and that's completely fine, I understand that all too well, consider leaving a super thanks down in the comments below. You can leave like one or two or five or ten dollars, however much you want to really. You can do that in the comments of YouTube down below. I want to say a huge thank you to one, Russ Garcia. And I said that name last week as well. And Russ was kind enough to leave another super thanks as well as also being a patron thank you so so much russ you're you're a good person thank you very much very 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 much but yeah if you can and can afford to do that that would be amazing on the video but anyway on with today's name of sanjay now sanjay is a name of sanskrit origins and in sanskrit it looks like this as it comes from sanskrit this means that the name sanjay is popular in south asian countries like pakistan Nepal, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, and of course, India. And that makes all the sense in the world because I asked you guys for a name from South Asia and you guys delivered. Thank you very, very much. I'm loving doing these sort of names from around the world. I hope, I hope you guys are too. But the name Sanjay has also become popular with the diasporas from these countries in other countries like the UK and USA. Basically, you can find the name Sanjay in pretty much every corner of the globe, despite where it originated from. It's found all over. And that's great. We love that here at Name Explain. We do. We do. Yeah? Yeah, we do. However, the name actually wasn't originally Sanjay. Originally, the name was Sanjaya. So just a little bit different, but different enough to be worth mentioning, I suppose. And one of the most important places where we see this name of Sanjay is in the, and I'm going to have to read it out here. I'm 99% sure I actually pronounce this one correctly. It is the Mahabharata. I think I got that right. Uh, this is like an epic poem or tale from Indian slash Hindu uh, mythology. Really important stuff over there. There's a lot of like stuff. I think we talked about. I think it has like quite deep links to the original, like the name Sri Lanka. It's cool stuff. Go, go look into it. But there's a character called Sanjaya in that epic, and yeah, that kind of helped popularize the name. Kind of like how um, names from the Bible are very popular in the English-speaking world. This is kind of similar there, I suppose. But that's a bit of a tangent anyway, back to the name Sanjay, and it is seen as meaning things like victorious or triumphant. That means that this is a name with a pretty cool meaning, I think it's fair to say. I mean, victorious, triumphant, that's, that's pretty epic. It specifically comes from this Sanskrit character of Sam, which means together slash whole slash complete, and this Sanskrit character of Jaya, which means victory. So in a more literal sense, the name means something like complete victory, which is pretty cool. That might be a bit more badass than just a victorious or triumphant, I think. It's a complete overall victory. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. Though the most interesting thing I noticed about the name Sanjay is how the start of it is identical to the name of the language it comes from. Sanjay and Sanskrit both start with sun, as I'm sure you very well notice yourself, but that's even the same when they're written with Sanskrit characters as well. The word Sanskrit in Sanskrit looks like this, and you can see that first character there is identical to the first character when Sanjay is written in Sanskrit, albeit there's a little dot accent mark on the top there. I, I couldn't explain that one for you, but yeah, minus that, these are the same character. In Sanjay, we said that this character means something like together or whole or complete, and that actually seems to be the exact same case in the word of Sanskrit too. According to the online etymology dictionary, the word Sanskrit comes from an older Sanskrit word of Sankratam. I think I pronounced that right, maybe. With the first part of this older Sanskrit word meaning together slash whole slash complete, and the latter part meaning to make slash form. This origin comes from the fact that Sanskrit is seen as this language that was cultivated together and like pure and actually proper compared to all the other strange dialects being spoken around the subcontinent at that time. Um, obviously, 
there were loads of other languages of valid these days, but a lot of languages are kind of like, we're the correct one. It's where like barbarian comes from, blah, blah, blah. Like that's kind of where that all derives from as well. Yeah, a lot of languages have a habit of thinking they're correct. Very, very strange, I suppose. We all, we all speak correctly, apart from me, according to the comments anyway. But from this etymology, we can see that the sun at the start of Sanjay has the exact same meaning as the sun at the start of Sanskrit. And how cool is that? They both mean together slash whole slash complete. And I just think that's so fun. I think it's amazing that this name ties so directly to the language it derives from. The closest other example to a name like that I can think of off the top of my head is Francis and it's linked to the French, AKA Fontois language. Did I say Fontois right? That's something I should have checked. Though I really need to stress that I am not an expert in Sanskrit. I'm not an expert in any language, but I'm definitely not an expert in Sanskrit. This video took a lot of like researching and digging into the meanings and pronunciations of various Sanskrit characters. So um, doing a bit of a call out here. If you have a better understanding of Sanskrit, let me know how accurate this was. I'm, I feel confident in what I've just delivered to you all. But if you can guide us and have a bit of extra insight into it, that would be amazing because it's a language I'm not all that familiar with. Thank you. In regards to the popularity of the name Sanjay, I couldn't tell you. Um, I couldn't find its popularity in the US or UK. I couldn't even find its popularity in countries like India or Pakistan or places like that. There wasn't that information. It didn't make itself available to me. So if you, let me, if you can let me know how popular the name Sanjay is in your part of the world, that would be amazing. Famous Sanjays include the likes of Sanjay Dutt, he's a very famous actor, but there's also Sanjay Patel who's an animator and he's worked on a ton of Pixar and Simpsons things. He even directed his own short film called Sanjay Superheroes, I believe it was called. Sanjay Super People? Should have checked that. But yeah, he's done loads of stuff. And speaking of The Simpsons, we also have Sanjay Nahasa Pima Petalon. I think I'm saying that right. He is the brother of Apu Nahasa Pima Petalon, the runner of the Quickie Mart. But anyway, that's just about everything you guys need to know about the name Sanjay. But what are your thoughts on this name? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Do you know anyone with the name Sanjay? Are you called Sanjay yourself? Let me know down in the comments below. And of course, I just want to share some of the thoughts you guys had on last week's name of Dimitri. Ted Stern said, another male name from a goddess in Greek mythology is Heracles. Note that this is the original Greek form, not to be confused with the Roman version, Hercules. Heracles means glory of Hera, and he was given that name in an attempt to mollify Hera for the infidelity of Zeus. Hercules' father, Heracles' father, apologies. Yes, that's a fantastic example of a male name deriving from a female god. Thank you very, very much for highlighting that for us. Gosh, I love, I love Heracles, Hercules, whatever term you want to use. Um, am I going to sing Go the Distance? No, I'm not. I don't, I'm not quite in the vibe to belt out Go the Distance quite yet, I'm afraid. Carl's Ted Matthews said, On the subject of naming men after women, when I, a dude, changed my name, I took the middle name of Inga as a masculine form of Ingrid. Ingrid was my late grandmother, and I took that name in honour of her. That is so freaking cool. Like, that's awesome. I love hearing about men being named after women. That's a prime example of that. Well done for doing that. So, so cool. Great stuff you. And Momo Chi said, Demetria Demi Lovato is a good example of a female Demetri. That absolutely blew my mind. I said quite profusely that there's no female form of Demetri. And not only is there a female form, someone with that name is pretty darn popular. Never even occurred to me that Demi was a nickname that came from some form of Demetri. Thank you so, so much for highlighting that, like, mind. So last week I asked for a name from you guys from the Indian subcontinent South Asia region. Where next? You know what? Let's go French. Go, go, go suggest a French name down in the comments below. Um, French is a language I really struggle with, so that should be a really fun, silly video. I'm sure you remember that time I said Jacques instead of Jacques and that still plays like a broken record in my mind. No, go suggest some French names down in the comments below and you know what I'll do? I'll pick three of those to be put into a poll exclusively for my patrons to vote on and then the winning name from that poll will be the name covered in the next Fun With Birth Names video. So if you enjoy the channel, want to help support it and have a say in what names get explained, you know what to do guys. Go support Name is for our patron, one dollar a month, helps out in a huge way, add free videos, exclusive content, a chance to say what names get explained. I almost sounded enthusiastic for a moment then, didn't I? Sorry, I'll 
temper it down. Uh, yeah, you can go do that if you want to, or just leave a super thanks if you want to make a one-time donation. That would be amazing as well. Cool, you got that? Thank you. But anyway, that's more than enough for myself. Don't forget to go follow me on Instagram, where I'm Name Explain YT, and don't forget to go join the Facebook group, Friends of Name Explain, where you can chat with myself and many other name nerds. Okay, all, take care. So that means it has my sign here, and in Sanskrit, the name that can't win. We'll get that. Origin. I'll get this. I'll get this. My hands won't wait. Why am I too up? But that's that's why. The word sunk sunkrit. But from this said blah blah blah. You think I'd say what etymology wouldn't you remember? I'm gonna feel a sneeze coming on. There we go. Cool? Is that right? Yeah, cool.